Welcome back everyone, Ontario Proud 613 here. Uh, I'm going to start off this segment by thanking a few of my viewers for subscribing. Uh, it's always encouraging to get a few subscribers. Uh, today I'm uh, taking a look at my finished product, my 1946 M44 Moisen Nagat. It has a, had a complete overhaul. The furniture on it has been stripped multiple times, steamed multiple times. Uh, and basically I did a really intensive job trying to bleed out a lot of the cosmoline and grit that was in this stock. As a lot of you know though, uh, who redo surplus rifles, it really depends on the rifle. This one happened to be a really tricky one to get a lot of the grease out of. Two to three times as much work as some SKSs I've done and some 9130s I've done in the past. Nonetheless, it was a real pleasure working on this rifle. Um, often when I go to the gun range, uh, I'm asked what type of shooter I am. I get mistaken a lot for something that's really into pistols. And in Canada, they restricted rifles uh, and pistols. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm very much into uh, surplus rifles, shooting a lot of surplus ra uh, rounds and calibers. But above all else, I, I really do enjoy getting an old, old surplus rifle with a lot of history to it, a lot of, a lot of antiquity to it, and just taking it from the ground up and, and refinishing it. So with this rifle here, that's exactly what I did. I went a little over and beyond I normally do. Um, some of the gun metal on this. I have polished to a polished gunmetal, so it, it looks like a polished, used, uh, well patina metal after I've done a very by hand polish on it. Um, the bluing on this rifle happened to be exceptional, so I didn't want to redo it all. As you've seen online, I'm sure some people will just, just completely take off all the bluing on it. I really didn't look for that. I was looking at certain pictures of ceremonial rifles in Russia during the period, and I had seen this style done a few times, and I really liked it. So as you can see, there's been some polishing done uh, to the barrel bands. Uh, there's been some polishing done to the top cover here. All the internals of the rifle were hand polished uh, to different gray, uh, grits. And I basically take my time and it's just elbow grease and a lot of just sitting in front of the TV and polishing away. There's a huge difference after I polish my rifles. Uh, I shoot with quite a few people. And as far as moisens go, this action here is exceptionally smooth. Um, as you might have seen uh, at the gun range yourself, sometimes you might have a refinished rifle that looks fantastic, but it shoots like crap. This rifle actually shoots as well as it looks, and that is always a bonus for someone like me, because there's nothing to refinish a rifle, bring it out to the first time, minor adjustments, and it's, it, it's a tack driver. Uh, I was shooting just under two inch groupings with this at 100 yards, five round uh, groups, uh, my first time out, and uh, I kind of rushed my shots to be honest. As far as the caliber 76254R, like I said, I shoot a lot of oddball calibers, so for me, it's not a very hard to find uh, round. I find it uh, at the local uh, gun store on surplus all the time. I normally can pick up, uh, if I'm going on the high end, PPU around here is what we shoot because it's reloadable brass, and that goes for about $24.99 for 20 rounds of the PPU. Otherwise, you're looking at surplus, and you're looking at about 20 rounds for $6 to $8, depending. But nonetheless, uh, just, uh, I don't want to keep you waiting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little closer to this rifle and go over in detail of some of the work I've done to it. Alright everyone, so here we are. We're back with the uh, Moisen M44 after its complete refurb. And uh, it came in as that Russian dark lacquer there. It looks almost, you know, burgundy blood red almost. And I'm just not a fan of it. It's sloppy and, a, you know, some guys are fine with not refinishing their surplus rifle. Depending on the rifle and its value and how it'll affect its value, like I said, I tend to prefer to do a complete refurb on some of the, my old surplus rifles here. But as I had mentioned, uh, the internals on this have all been soft polished by hand, and I've got a really, really, really smooth bolt on this. And I can tell you, when I'm doing rapid fire with this, and yeah, you can rapid fire Moisen Nagat. Uh, not like a Lee Enfield, but yeah, you can do it. Uh, it. There's a big difference in it. And like I said, I lucked out once again. I really got myself a very nice model M44. All my friends have 9130, so I decided to go with something a little more on the pricey side, a little bit more on the hard-to-find side. But nonetheless, uh, she's quite a looker. I'm sure you've noticed by now, I've actually sent this out to the engraver. And I wanted this to be a rifle that would definitely be staying in my family. I'm from Ontario in Canada, so obviously we got the maple leaf uh, right there on the uh, internal magazine. And if I move to the back of the stock, I've got the, let me zoom in here, I've got the Ontario, my provincial crest uh, on the stock as well. And then if I follow over, 
you'll notice that I also have another maple leaf on the other side, parallel to the one on the internal magazine on the other side. So that's just some of the work I've done. The stock itself was the most work. Uh, I can't tell you how much work I did. I used a natural based, uh, non-oil based stain and then I used a uh, tongue oil. And then after a good long period of drying, I used a stock wax. And here you can get a view of the barrel bands and some of the polishing I did. You can see there was uh, some pitting on the wood here, so I had to refinish that and fill that in and polish in all the, uh, the dog collar style sling attachment area there. And, and uh, it's incredible how much time it takes to actually you know, polish something down to its bareness. But the look it gives is very, very nice if you're looking at a surplus rifle because you don't want it to look like stainless steel. So there we go, gentlemen. Uh, that's Like I said, there's, there's quite a few hours invested in this rifle. But if you're into uh, Moisen Nagats, uh, I'd like to hear your feedback on this. Uh, the guys at the range seem to really like it. What do you think about it? Well, guys, signing off here. I'll have a few more pictures at the end of the video. I hope you like it. Take care, stay safe, be prepared.